Hello guys and girls, welcome to the Billiard Network, the home of Global Pool on YouTube. You are watching the Battle of the Generations and this is part 2 in a series of 3. Rack number 32, Bustamante just broke off. Efren Reyes, the goat to play. Now yesterday we raced to 17 in this match. And uh, the legends, Francisco and Busti, finished that part one with a score of 17 to 15. So it was a, a very close affair and a bit of a roller coaster first part. That's a great shot by Efren. Yeah, uh, very good imagination and creativeness there. Playing the one off the eight. And fortunately, didn't get a, a good shot on the two ball. Busty has to kick at this. Did hit the two, but uh, has left it up. And now you will see the young guns come to the table. Anton Raga from the Philippines and uh, Johan Chua from the Philippines too. Two rising stars from the Filipino contingent. And uh, I'm going to give the legends a good game in this race to 50. There's a long way to go. Chua has to kick at this three ball. I don't think he, he can see enough of the ball to make it. This is played in Manila in Sharks Pool Room on the 9th and 10th of April 2021. So just like a day or two ago. Very fresh content. I have to apologize for the cameraman not always showing uh, the angles uh, of the table correctly. And we don't always get a good view of the table. Like there, we just see half the table, you see. Uh, but this was the content we were given, and we have to make do with it. And uh, what a great match. It's uh, an absolute treat for you guys. Battle of the Generations, a 29-year-old and a 24-year-old against a 67 and 58-year-old. Okay, back to the game. Busty's got a shot on this three ball. Um, he can make the three, but it's not easy to get position on the four here. So he's going to have to put a stroke on this. Maybe bottom left English and draw off the side rail. Or uh, is he going to perplex me again and play something completely different? He played it in the side pocket, under hit it by quite some margin. He probably thought playing it that way was the best way to pocket the ball. And obviously that was priority. Now Efren's just looking to see if this four ball passes the eight. It's lovely to see the goat in Efren Reyes still playing at a tender age of 67. Still shooting lights out. Still showing moments of magic. That's a nice save. You see he put some inside spin there on the cue ball. So he hit the short rail and the spin took it right behind the eight. Puts the youngsters in trouble. Johan going airborne.
Good attempt. Wasn't far away. Okay, elected to play short side position. Efren just needs to bear down and make this ball. He will have position on the seven. Oh, wow. And there you see Efren missed it by quite some margin. Is he going to fluke it? Oh, no. <clears throat> like I said in part one, these are played on... Uh, Four inch pockets, they're very tight pockets and they have deep shelves on a Brunswick Gold Crown 4, I believe. Two rail position for the 8, just see some low left spin. There you see him applying the spin, about 7 o'clock on the cue ball. That's a positional shot by Raga. They call him the Dragon. And here is Bubwit taking the nine ball. Nicely done. Reduce the deficit to 17-16 to the Legends. Rack number 33, Johan Chua to break. In part one, he probably broke the best out of the four. He had some really, really nice breaks where he made three or four balls and got a shot on the lowest numbered ball. It's kind of what kept them in the race yesterday. But it was a close affair. They were tied at 11-11, 12-12. And then uh, Efren and Busti went ahead to finish off part one. 17-15 Probably going to play some kind of safety Wasn't the best of safeties He has left a shot but I must reiterate that these are very tight pockets, so uh, a shot like this is no gimme. Looks like Busty's putting a stroke on this. Might play with some high left English. Yeah, he tried to spin around the table. It was a good effort, a good cue ball. And... Uh, he nearly actually made the ball. It was a good attempt. Needs to come down for the two ball here. Needs to miss uh, a little bit of traffic. Played it with inside spin, left hand spin to check the cue ball up. Didn't quite hit it hard enough. And has left a safety shot for Anton Raga. Anton Raga, um, up and coming player from the Philippines. Doesn't travel as much as Johan Chua to the international tournaments. But I think he, he will do. Still uh, only young, 24 years of age. And... Uh, You've got to say that's a little bit unfortunate to scratch at that acute angle. It's a bit unlucky. Ball in hand for the GOAT. A little draw shot, play the four in the same pocket, I would have thought.
it's a race to 50 and today we are racing to 35 in part 2 and then in part 3 we'll finish off going to 50 Play the seven in the same pocket, a little low left. I haven't been to this pool room in the in the Philippines in Manila. I've never heard of it actually. I've been to a couple. I've been to Manny Pacquiao's pool room and a one side pool room. Stop shot on the eight for Busty. Leaves a easy nine for Efren. And they regain a two rack advantage. 18 16 to the legends. Rack number 34. Efren Bata to break. They call him the magician. It looks like a dry one. I said this in part one, although they are using a magic rack, uh, the balls don't seem to spread very well. Sometimes you have a lot of clusters up by near the, the nine ball spot. I'm not sure why that is. If you have a magic rack, it should be a perfectly frozen rack. Johan Chua travels a lot more than Raga. I've seen him in uh, uh, quite a few international events. I know he won the Japan Open in recent years. So they are playing scotch doubles and uh, you usually see when there is a tricky situation they confer, they talk to each other to find, uh, try and figure out the best plan of action. But when it's easy and all uh, balls are spread nicely around the table, it's kind of plain sailing and uh, no need to confer with your, your partner, just get on with it. That seems to be uh, the most popular strategy used in Scotch doubles affairs. See, a little tricky situation and Busty just had a word with Efren. Efren said, shut up, you don't know what you're talking about. Let me choose the shot. <laughs> oh, puts Anton back. Like he's jacking up and going for a bank. Close. Does he treble it? Good leave, though. These top players hardly ever receive, uh, refuse a bank when they have one. Especially when it's like a two-way bank with a safety in mind. I think Boosty asked for a little help from his master there. It's always great to watch these two, how they go about things. You can learn a lot too. I like it when they have uh, fun and jokes between each other. You see, Efren's giggle <laughs> makes me laugh too.
Okay, so it looks like Booster's going real fast, and it will try and sp spin it in. Has got another shot where he can hit the, the long rail and try and catch the right hand side of the one and put it on the, the long rail and uh, cue ball on the other side. Okay, I think he's mishit that. Looks like he's stuck it up. It's very close, but uh, it might just go past the five. Yeah, it clearly goes into the side pocket. Now the two was hanging over the pocket. It's all about getting position on the three here, which is right next to the two, so uh, shouldn't be a problem either. Could draw past the three or bump into it. Yeah, it was very natural. That laid uh, very, very nicely to pot the two and just... Uh, cannon into the three, promote it towards the pocket. You would have to say that sooner or later the young guns are going to catch a gear. Three o'clock on the cue ball here, stun into the long rail. Didn't want to hit the eight, didn't get into the cue ball as much as he would have liked. Needed to hit lower on the cue ball to miss the eight. Nevertheless, is uh, okay. A little bit too much spin there. He had the right idea, but a little bit too much inside spin. Now, this is cuttable, but uh, not easy. He is going for it. You expect him to get it, really. Nice shot. Not very good position on the eight, but... Uh, Anton Raga is a shooter, a shot maker, and this, uh, there you go, straight into the heart of the pocket, and lovely position on the nine ball. Eighteen seventeen to the legends, rack number 35. Anton Raga, they call him the dragon to break. Pretty decent control of the cue ball. No shot on the one. Doesn't look like it anyway. Has the option to push out now. Or he can kick out the ball. Choosing to push out. And quite an intelligent push out. Tying up the 2-3. Speed control was just a little bit off, but good idea from Busty there. Trying to play safe, lock him up behind the four ball. I haven't seen much of uh, Anton Raga play. I just saw him play a few racks in part one. But I've heard uh, quite a few stories about him. That's a very good player. And uh, plays a lot of big money matches in uh, the Philippines. He's definitely one to look out for in the future. 
Okay, looks like he's kicking two rails here, Efren Reyes. And that's a very rare miss by Efren. He hardly ever misses when he kicks at the ball. I think he's surprised himself. He's probably thinking, wow, I haven't done that for like 10 years. Miss a two rail kick. <laughs> anyway, ball in hands to the young guns. Just picking his spot on the rail for the two ball. Just roll this in, centre ball striking. Top centre. Nicely done. I'm not sure if the three has a pocket. Okay, it may go long into the pocket where the eight ball is. That's what he's looking at now. Uh, I don't really know what to say about that. There's probably just a lack of concentration. Because usually he'd pop that with his eyes closed. I don't think it was pressure because early days in this match. I did mention yesterday that these are very tight pockets and can sometimes uh, mess with your confidence. Chua in a tough snooker here. Yeah, this looks the favourite way to hit the ball. Two rails. He could actually snooker him back behind the 6-3. He's played it at a nice speed. Mm, okay. He didn't mean to play it like that, wanted uh, a much more fuller contact. It looks like Efren might have a window between the three and nine to hit the two. Can't pot the two, can only play safe. Who can just roll it? Cue ball here on the, the end rail and send the two ball down table. But you never know with Efren. He comes up with some wizardry sometimes. Uh, some magical shots and uh, no one except him would ever think of shots like that. <laughs> so I do apologise if I get it wrong when Efren's shooting. This is not a tough ball to hit, it has to spin, a lot of spin, hitting the short rail, using right hand spin to try and make contact with the two. Wow, great attempt, great attempt to pot the ball. And see, that's where the Filipinos have an advantage over everyone else in their kicking game. Cuba was good in that kick as well. Oh, Bosti's probably favourite to pot this. Okay, good attempt. Did make a good contact on the two ball. Uh, surprised it didn't fall actually. The two just caught the titty. So he's opting to play safe. He's got a good object ball. At some point, we're going to see one of these 
pairings to catch a gear and get some momentum going and start flowing a bit and put a few racks together you would have thought because we are watching the world's greatest players here Not much Efren could do there with the resave. There wasn't many good things that could happen if he went when kicking at that two ball. Now he looks a li little bit um, short here if he played for position in the corner. Not a problem for Chua. Nice positional shot too. This draw. Probably wanted to draw a little bit further back there. Didn't look like he got through this cue ball as much. And uh, Yo and Chua is just having a, a giggle with Anton Raga. What have you done there, pal? And a uh, bit of a blunder there by Chua. Expected him to pot that ball. But it was the bad position from Chua that forced him to miss that ball. Busty going for an easy 1-9 combination. Is he? Or is he just potting it? Yeah, he's potting it. There's no real need to go for that combination when the, the balls are laying nice like this. Using some top right-hand spin there. Round the rails. Wanting to catch that third rail ideally didn't really want to be hampered, hampered by the nine but he seems to be okay he can hit enough of the cue ball touch a right hand spin here oh and Bustamante missed that shot too these are tight pockets guys So anything can be missed, really, if you don't bear down. We saw some very easy shots missed in part one as well. Nice draw shot there. And they tie up the match. 18 all. Oh, rack number 36. Busty to break. He's made a ball. It looks like he's got a shot on the one as well. Bustamante has one of the best breaks in the business. Can hit him really, really hard. 40 miles per hour plus. This looks like a pretty easy rack. I would say the key shot here would be Six to seven. We should always try to identify the key shot in every rack. Although it looks easy, I still like the way they're Working things out, double checking a few things. Shows their professionalism, I guess. Okay, played for the side pocket, landed a bit short. Looks like all four players are still getting used to the speed of the table.
Django. Going to cut this four ball in, go three rails for position on the five in the side pocket or the corner. It's going to play this in the side, hit the bottom rail, inside spin, okay, outside spin. <laughs> See, that's where he catches you out sometimes. Use outside spin to hit the long rail and then get position on the six. I might have played with inside there. I think a lot of players might have played with inside there. And to hit this boost he has by quite some way. You see how he asked Efren for some advice. He probably said to him, shall I spin around three rails with top right or shall I draw with bottom right English? Touch a left hand spin here. Probably come round the nine. One, two, three. Needs to travel. Okay, looks pretty set for the side pocket. They take the lead again. 19-18 to the Legends. Rack number 37. Bubwit to break. I don't know the meaning of Bubwit, which is uh, Johan's surname, uh, nickname. But maybe you can enlighten me, any Filipino guys watching. Let me know in the comments box, please. Okay, so he's made a ball. And he's got a long shot on the one. Needs to get back for the two. Needs to put a, a big draw stroke on this. Okay. Maybe the two goes from there. Okay. I thought it was kind of sitting on the point. But uh, it looks like he can make it from there. Or can he? He's spinning it with some outside here. You can see him like 5 o'clock on the cue ball. Yes, nicely done. They're going to 35 here in part two. And part three would finish off the race to 50. Two rail position, used a bit of left hand spin there. Pretty perfect on the four. Johan needs to draw back, get closer to the five. Nice compact stroke. Nice uh, close bridge we saw there from Chua. Open bridge here for Raga. Oh, and he missed that. I fancied him to get that if he closed his bridge. Keeps the queue on line. But each to their own. Busty jumps out of his seat. Draw back for the six. Is it me or it looks like the, the ball isn't drawing that great on this cloth? They might have some humid conditions or something. I don't know. One rail position here, Busty. Or two rails. They take a two rack advantage, 2018 to the Legends. Rack number 38, Efren to break. He's made a ball in the side. Looks like he's got a shot for the side pocket. 
I know the cube was very close to it. But uh, maybe he can draw off this long rail and get position on the two. Just like that. Nicely done. Okay, Efren might go through the gap here. Through the gap and play the four in the same pocket was his uh, intention. Didn't want to bump the four like that. Uh, left Boosty in a little bit of a tricky situation. He's probably going to play a safety. He went for it, and uh, a great shot too. Very nice shot there by Busty on these tight pockets. And a good stroke there as well by the GOAT. Probably roll this forward, play the seven in the side. Nicely done. Good cubal control. Leaves a nice angle from the seven to get to the eight. Uh, Efren missed that by quite some way. Did he fluke it? Yes, he did. He played the bank in the corner pocket. <laughs> uh, yeah, a little bit of a roll there for the legends. They deserve it. They steal the rack. 21 18 to the legends. Rack number 39. Anton Raga to break. Good pop on the cue ball. Controlled it nicely. Parked it central. Has made a ball. Doesn't have a good shot on the one. Johan Chua. Bubwit, they call him. Recently dyed his hair. Last time I saw her, his hair was black. Now it's kind of grey, purple colour. See what kind of safety he plays here. Okay, used the six ball to stop the one, but didn't want to hit the seven with the cue ball. Now he's left this open for Busty. And uh, it's pretty natural position to get on the two ball. Can play it with outside or inside. Looks like he's shooting it with inside. These pockets are almost like snooker pockets, so you really got to bear down on every shot. Because we know these guys don't miss on uh, normal size pockets. They don't miss four and a half inch pockets. You know, they're very rarely going to miss an easy ball. But here we, we see an array of misses because of the tightness of the equipment. 
Looks like Efren can spin this in with some low left English. Uh, probably about seven o'clock on the cue ball. Spin it in. He's great at spinning balls in and uh, not a great leave on the two. A little bit unlucky to be hampered by the nine. So he's playing behind the back, which the Philippines are accustomed to. They don't use the rest of the rake as much as the rest of the world. Ooh. Nearly scratched in the side pocket from that acute angle. Maybe he's, he's got a shot on this three ball, Efren. Looks like he has. He's getting down quick. Yeah, that goes. Center ball striking. Played the four in the middle. Nice cue ball there. We're always used to seeing Efren have a, a wonderful cue ball throughout his career. This makes the game look so easy because he's hardly ever playing difficult shots. Bottom left. Come into the middle of the table, shoot the seven inside. That looks pretty perfect to me. Looks like he has got a little bit of angle. Yes, using a draw stroke there. And 22 18 to the legends, extending their lead to four racks. Rack number 40 we're at now. Boosty to break. Made a ball, corner ball. The five went in. Does have a shot on the one, although it's very thin. And the two balls tied up. So maybe a safety is order of the day. Two rows behind the two. Three rows. Pretty good shot. And you is going to kick at this. Short rail with right hand spin. Yeah, it was a tough position Johan was in. There was nothing really good that could happen after hitting the one ball there. Not much traffic down the other end of the table, was there? So, uh, he's left a shot here for the legends. So the master, Efren Reyes, giving Bustamante some advice again. He's saying, Busti, just put it in the middle. Stun over there. And slot the two in the bottom pocket. I'm not sure if it goes past the seven. If it doesn't, he does have a, a good safety. Looks like he can just slide by the seven, but uh, this is tough equipment. Tight, no, he's playing safe. Let's see what Anton does here. I'm always intrigued to see how the Filipinos kick. Okay, very good shot. Very good shot. 
And there you see his kicking skills. Only at the age of 24, he pointed his cue on the short rail exactly where he wanted the two ball to hit. And it hit precisely on that position. And he got cover with the 4-8. So great shot there. I learnt, uh, I learnt a lot from that shot. I hope you guys did too. And another great shot by Busty kicking the three. And wow, that's what you call kicking. Three rails and kick the two right in the corner. And maybe Efren has a shot. No, he doesn't. Okay, so he's going to have to kick this. How about three great kicks in a row, guys? Can he spin this in? Kick it in to the corner? Unfortunately not. But got a good cue ball. He had that in mind. It was kind of a two-way kick. If I don't make the three, I'll get a safe behind the nine. That was his thought process. I love watching the tactical racks between the top Filipinos I don't think he can see a piece of this three if he can it's like uh, the paint Oh, he could see quite a bit. Didn't get the snooker. Not sure if Busty can see all of this ball to bank it. There we go. That's a better view by the cameraman. Doesn't look like he's going for a bank. Slight like safety. Okay, didn't get the saved hand. Has left a shot, although it's quite a tough shot. But this guy's a shot maker. We saw in one of the early racks. He pointed a great eight ball. And there you go. Very nice pot. Unfortunately, snookered on the four. That was rather unlucky. Um, you'll probably see uh, Johan Chua go straight for his jump stick. Pop this in and stun the cue ball round two or three rails to get position on the six. Quite a doable shot here. Yes, nicely done and nice position on the six. Very well played. Round of applause for Johan Chua. Okay, interesting positional shot. Can spin with inside or zigzag across the table with bottom left. Let's see what he plays. Yep. High left on the cue ball. High right, sorry. And nice position. That's probably preference, really. But he did take the side pockets out of the equation there, playing it that way. That's probably why he elected to play it like that. Doesn't want to get married up on the eight. That's uh, rather careless, again, from Johan Chua. Yeah, Neri married up to the eight ball. So, it looks like a safety is order of the day. Cue ball behind the nine. Need a good touch. A little bit of right hand spin. No, didn't get the cue ball. And he's left a shot. Although a hard one. We might see the legends refuse this shot and play a safety. It's Efren at the table. 
Looks like he's hitting this half ball. A thin cut and cue ball back down behind the nine. Yeah, that was a sensible shot. Intelligent play. But we don't expect anything less from the master. Young guns just weighing up their options here. Do they go for a bank? Do they go for a safety? We shall soon find out. Fired it in. Wow, what a great shot by Johan Chua. Redeemed himself in playing a slack shot earlier in this rack. When he married up to the eight ball. Pretty makeable nine in the side here. For the dragon. Oh, and there you see the tightness of the pockets. He hit that pretty good, but he refused the ball. Tough situation for Busty now. Probably has to. He's probably forced into a bank shot here. There's no real good safety. No balls to hide behind. He's got to go full out here. Commit yourself to the bank 100%. Jacking up slightly. Good attempt. Very good attempt has left this nine ball now. Funny little rack. Both pairings had chances on the nine ball. You see them giggling to each other. I love it when Efren giggles. Johan Chua for the nine ball. Reduces the deficit to 22-19. Rack number 41. Chua to break. Okay, he's made the eight ball. Not a great leave on the one. Does have safety options here. Yeah, that was the most obvious play because there was a a wall of balls there, using the 5 and 9 as cover. Now Efren Barta at the table. Usually we see him kick the ball good here. Yeah, he tried to uh, use two rails and does he hit it? <laughs> no rail. Surprising miss, actually. Whenever Efren misses a kick shot completely, like that one, we're all kind of amazed because he is an absolute master of the kicking game. Seven o'clock on the cue ball here, stunning to the long rail. That'll do. Okay, the five in the same pocket. Touch of right hand spin here, not too much. Leaves an angle to get down to the six. Straight draw, straight bottom.
just a high ball here. Use one rail to get position on the seven. He's using the rake or rest as we call it here in the UK. Two rail position here coming into the nine. Some left hand spin. Okay, use one rail. Preference really. Good work by the young guns. 22-20 to the legends. Rack number 42. Efren to break. Okay, has made a ball. Looks like the corner ball's flying in with some regularity right now. In part one, we saw the corner ball miss a few times. It's probably because of uh, the indents in the table kind of uh, making a groove now, making a, a big enough indent for that corner ball to go in with some regularity. Left hand spin here, three o'clock on the cue ball. Just play a stop shot here. Looks like the cue ball will be heading towards the short rail, unless he draws it. Probably draw this with some left hand spin. Just like that, nicely done. Touch of left hand spin. Play the eight in the same pocket. And the legends making short work of this rack. Like I said, looks like both teams are getting into stroke now and finding some momentum. Twenty three to twenty to the legends. Rack number 43, Anton Raga to break. Lost the cue ball a little bit there. Has made a couple of balls. So they've got a shot on the one, but not easy to get position on the two. Oh, I'm not even sure if it goes past the seven. And it's probably not a good idea to cheat the pockets on this table. You might be playing carom here on the seven. Yeah. Now, there's no point making this one ball unless you can get position on the two. And it's a tough shot as well to make it. So, will we see a safety? Oh, he played to cut it in and... Uh, okay, it was a good attempt. He played to cut it in and dislodge the cluster. Unfortunately, he scratched while doing so. Bustamante, ball in hand. The nice, easy table. Let's roll, roll forward. Play the 4 5 in the side. Nice positional shot for Busty to take this nine ball. Give them a four rack advantage. 24-20. 
Rack number 44, Django to break. He really does hit him hard. Bustamante's got a very powerful break. One of the biggest breaks in the world. I know he can break at like 45, 40 to 45 miles per hour plus. And if you've ever measured yourself with a speed gun on your brake, you would know that to get like 40 miles per hour is not easy. Looks like he's uh, going to slot this in with some uh, top left English. Okay, missed it by quite some way. Did get a nice leave. like he's kicking at this one rail and try and get some separation here yeah nicely done everyone's gonna kick this rail first try and send it towards the side and he made it in the side wow what a shot he was aiming to make it in the side. If it doesn't go in the side, it probably goes safe. It's kind of a two-way kick. Bustamante kicking at this. Maybe he has a chance to make the eight ball here. Uh, he had it pretty full. Good kick shot. Got some distance anyway. Although it has left a, a shot for the young guns. Okay, so I'd use a, a little bit of... Uh, Left hand English here, two rows and play the five in the side. Okay, he elected to draw the ball one row. I liked my shot because uh, if you miss the four ball, you can get a good cue ball behind the five and play for the five in the same pocket. Almost like a two-way shot. Let's see what kind of magic Efren comes up with here. Okay, yeah, very intelligent. Playing safety behind the six. Looks like he's got there. Just about. Yes. Nice view of the shot there. Nicely done by the goat. You are going airborne. Yeah, nice shot. Exactly how he played it. It's nice to see a good little tactical exchange here. Now, I, I, I fancy Busty to kick this good as well. Kick the four between the five and six. Try and stick the cue ball there. See how he plays this, or is he going for a thin snick? Oh, he did. He went for a thin cut. That's not going to scratch on these tight pockets. Nice leave. Efren chuckling <laughs> to Busty. 
He's saying you hit that like an absolute plum. All four of them are laughing actually now. It's nice to see that really. They're playing a, a big match and uh, I'm sure there's a few pesos on the line. But still enjoying it, having fun. Wasn't the best of safeties by Anton Raga. Have, has left a, a thin cut shot or an easy safety. Yeah. Yeah, the rack at their mercy now. They can uh, clear up this rack. That will give them a five rack advantage. But uh, let's not predict anything prematurely here. Needs an angle on the seven to get down for the eight. Not sure if he's got there from that view. We need a overhead view here. Please, cameraman. Like I said before, this footage was given to us as it is. So we have to make do with it. I'm sure we're not going to complain too much considering quality of the players. 11 o'clock on the cue ball here. Follow. Didn't put a great stroke on that, Efren. He left a bank shot from Busty. And in part one, we saw Busty make like three or four nice bank shots like this. He plays a lot of one pocket and he got it. It kind of rattled and deciding whether to go in but it went in <laughs> funny little rack and you saw Busty there fisting the other players rack number 45 two are to break the score is 25 to 20 okay no shot on the one looks like a safety Yeah, Thin Snick, try and get Kubel behind the three. Nicely done. Good line and great speed control. Classy shot there by Raga. Efren's in a spot of bother. Or is he ever in a spot of bother? Rail. He does have something in mind. Uh, he's left the shot up. He's left the shot in the side pocket, and the two's right there as well. So, the only problem I can see maybe the eight ball getting good shape on the eight might be the key to this rack. They need to get their skates on, these two. Currently trailing by five racks. There's a long way to go. Like I said, it's a race to 50. And they're going to 35 today. Bottom left. Center table position. Now he'll probably use two rails here. Bottom right on the cue ball, past the seven, nice position on the five. Now it's important here to get a good angle on the seven to get the, to the eight. Didn't want to bump it like that. 
that becomes a little bit tricky now. But you would expect them to get a decent shot on the eight. Considering the level of the players. Lots of bottom left English here. Spinning round two, two rails. Can't see the eight ball. I do apologize for the camera work. Nice, nice position on the eight ball. It's got to roll this in. Center ball striking. Fired it in. And Raga's got to bear down on this a little bit. It's not a hanger because these are tight pockets. Good job by the youngsters. 25-21. This is rack 46. Bustamante to break. And a very productive break. Nice shot on the one for Efren. Looks like natural position for the two ball. Doesn't look like the four goes past the eight. I could be wrong, but if so, they would have to negotiate a pocket for the four ball. Okay, yeah, that's a nice positional shot because he's got a nice angle now to float round the rails and get to the four ball, which I think goes in this bottom right-hand pocket. So he's going to stun this with some right-hand English, three o'clock on the cue ball. There you see the spin taking effect has under hit it, but it did go into the right-hand corner pocket past the nine. Under hit that by some way, so Bustamante will probably be forced into a safety unless he can see an attacking option here. There is a combination 4-8, but that's, that's fraught with danger for me. But then again, I'm not Filipino. Yeah, sensible shot. Not sure if there's a gap. Yeah. He rushed around quickly to have a look if there was a gap. And it does look like there's a gap. And uh, this offers a nice little bank shot. Nice little bank shot for Johan Chua. It's probably going to top the cue ball. I'm not sure. I don't think the six goes past the nine. So uh, top the cue ball and play for the six into this corner pocket by the eight. That was a good attempt. But uh, looks like they've sold out this rack. As long as they get position on the six, a lot of left hand spin there. Checks up the cue ball. Nicely done. Yeah, it looks like they sold out. This one is going to go to the legends, I'm afraid. They will maintain a five rack advantage if they sink this nine. Twenty six twenty one to Efren and Busti. We are right now at rack forty seven. They call him the dragon. Good Q 
cue ball. And does he get it? Yes, he gets a nice shot on the one ball. Stunning this round two rails to get position for the two in the side. Now you would think if they get decent position on the three, that this rack should be over. And that looks pretty good. It needs to go up and down table to get close closer position on the four ball. I did notice uh, Johan Chua was using a carbon fiber shaft and has now reverted back to a wooden shaft, each to their own, it's preference really. A little bit short position there, but shouldn't be a problem for Johan. Probably wanted to travel another four or five inches further down table. But uh, not a problem at all. Just float this in with some right hand spin. Twenty-six, twenty-two. Efren to break. Rack number forty-eight. That's rather rather unfortunate because the cubal got kicked into the pocket there, and uh, that's exactly what the young guns needed. play short side position on the two and then we'll follow the cue ball down for the three wants to be pretty straight okay he bounced a little bit oh, that could work out well a nice three nine carom looks to be sitting pretty good we shall soon find out gotta get the contact on the three the thickness of the contact to make the nine here yeah nicely done quick rack 23, 26, rack number 49, Chua to break. Has made a ball and a shot on the one. Looks like the young guns are on a bit of a comeback trail here. There's nothing really in it in the scoreline. 23-26 in a race to 50. Is he going for this in the side? Yes, he's probably potting it in the side pocket. Looks quite
quite thin. Okay. He missed it. I do believe he was attempting to go for the pot there. Bustamante is slightly hampered by the eight ball here. Touch a left hand top spin. Yeah, see the see the tightness of the pockets. He didn't hit that ball great either. He didn't really hit it with any uh, conviction. Has he left a cross bank? Raga. Or can he make the ball? We cannot always tell with this view from the cameraman. Uh, overhead view would have been great for this match but uh, it is what it is we've got to make do with it this was a uh, original footage passed on to us oh a little bit harder nine ball would have gone in Oh, this is a horrible shot. Long, straight, two ball. And need to get position for the three. Okay, it's not. He does have a bit of angle. Center ball striking, Efren. Keep still. Don't jump up. Very well done. I'm telling Efren Reyes how to play now. <laughs> No, I have seen him jump up in recent years. That's why I was quite concerned on that shot. That he'd stay down and follow through. And that's exactly what he did. And uh, he put a quality strike on that cue ball. So, uh, the guy can still shoot. Don't worry about that. Didn't want to bump the eight ball there. Left a tricky shot for Efren now. Although it's uh, very makeable. Didn't get position. Good shot on the four. Didn't get position on the five. Boosty's only option is to play safe here. Is he going for a bank past the nine? Yes, he is. <laughs> what a great bank shot. Excellent shot by Bustamante there. Showing his class at banks. He, he plays a lot of one pocket these days and uh, has all, always been a very good bank ball player. Classy shot by Bustamante. Efren slots one down the rail and gets lovely position on the eight. They needed this because the young guns were coming back. Nicely done. Good work by the veterans. 27-23. We are in rack 50. Django, Bustamante to break. Lost the cue ball there terribly. Yeah, a bit of a miss hit, but nevertheless has come up smelling of roses. Because easy starter on the one ball. Two's right there. And the three's in a nice position too. 
So, uh, quick start in this rack. Don't see any other problems on the table. Mm, four to seven. And even that's not too difficult. Okay, it's left an angle for Efren to get closer to this three. bit of left hand spin, not much. Gives himself an angle. A one two rail position. For the five wants to probably be middle diamond. That long rail. Middle ish, yep. Pretty much perfect. And uh, middle table position here would be absolutely fine. Probably just a little bit right of center table. A little bit right of center table. And uh, this rack is at their mercy. Still have to bear down on this equipment. Another one for the veterans, 28-23. We are in rack 51. Raga to break. Has made the corner ball like both teams are doing right now. It is one ball on the spot, so uh, no need for a, a cut break. This is more like the the old conventional style of breaking. Top left on the cue ball, two, three rail position for the two. Nicely done. Perfect position. Now has to miss the eight and nine ball. Probably wants to draw past them. got to clear the 8 and 9 here, that's vital. Doesn't matter if you give yourself a bit of distance, you just got there. Couldn't quite tell if he was drawing or following there. Just under hit it a little bit. Probably played it for the side pocket. Now his cue ball will be going away from the six ball now. So Raga will probably have to put a stroke on this. There is a couple of options how to play it. Deep draw with right hand spin. Okay, missed that ball. Yeah, like I said before, we're seeing uh, a lot of uncharacteristic misses by both parties here due to the tightness of the table. I was told they're just less than four inch, four inches, uh, these pockets. Nice stroke on that one. Good position for Efren. Can just concentrate on making this ball because the the sevens over the pocket. You can use a touch of right hand spin to help this ball in. Two rail position, or is he going with inside spin? Three rail position. Yeah, he likes the three railers like me. I would have done that too. Takes the, the side pockets out of the equation. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, when I said he jumps up sometimes these days, and that's exactly what he did. Got to stay down and follow through on those. But uh becomes harder as you get older. And uh Christmas present for the young guns. 28, 24. We're in rack 52. Butter to break. Has made a ball and Boosty's got a shot on the one ball. Uh, bottom left on the cue ball. Wants to uh, spin in and out of that corner and come down three rails, maybe four rails for position on the two. There you see him applying the left hand English. Uh, the cue ball needs to travel. Does it get there? Oh no, didn't get there. He cannot make this ball. It was a good attempt. And uh, wasn't an easy shot. Efren forced into a safety. As we all know, Efren is uh, the GOAT when he's 67 years of age. And uh, what a great display he showed us over his career. Some of the shots he's come out with, his, uh, his genius and uh, creativity is uh, second to none. Just plays a containing shot there. Couldn't see a, a better safety. Now, the young guns can probably thin snick this and try and get a snooker behind the five. Maybe I would try that. Okay, didn't get the snooker. Probably going to separate the balls here, put the cue ball on one side rail and the two ball on the other, but um, you never know. Didn't get the snooker, I think he's left a little edge of this two ball. I don't think uh, they can make it though. Excuse me. Some advice been given to chew up by his partner. I don't really see what he's going to do there. Okay. It was a pretty good attempt. And that it looked like um, Anton Raga told him exactly what to do there. And uh, he nearly pulled it off. He was trying to snooker behind the three. It was a good effort. To me, that shows that Raga might actually have a better kicking game. I don't know. Oh, there you see the tightness of the pockets then. Uh, Efren hit it pretty good. But was refused. Not a bad leave. I mean, it's not easy to get position on the three here. Bottom right. And, uh, okay, nice shot. Very well played. It's pretty straight on this three ball, so it just has to draw back. Draw straight back. 
all the top players look at their tip when they're drawing back and uh, they make sure it's chalked well before executing the shot. And they make sure they've covered all of their tip and there's no patches where they've missed. We saw part one yesterday, it was a race to 17, we're going to 35 in part two. Then in part three, we'll finish off the race to 50. For those of you who just joined us, you're watching the Battle of Generations, played in the Philippines, Manila, recently, over the last couple of days. And I'm Imra Majid from the Billiard Network. Nice positional shot. Reduce the deficit once again. 28-23. Rack number 53. Bob Witt to break. Has made a ball, but no shot on the one. Pushing out. Only three racks in it now. Quite a close affair. Nothing much in it with these two teams. That was a nice safety shot by Raga. Very well played. Exactly as intended. Uh, a lot of good things can happen here, whilst kicking at the one. A bad thing can happen is scratching from behind, but he, he kicked that at a good speed and uh, he got great contact on the one ball there. He wanted to hit it half ball and just send it gently towards the long rail and snooker his opponents with the 4-9. Excellent shot. See, that's where you can learn off the Filipinos. And that's another intelligent shot again. Catching a piece of the one, trying to get a snooker behind the nine. Efron's probably going to lock him up here. That'll do. Has left a jump shot though. And I think Chua's going for his jump stick. It's pretty makeable into the side pocket. Only three wrecks in it now, so things are heating up. I've really enjoyed this match so far. It's quite educational watching the Filipinos play, especially with their kicking and uh, wizardry. Nice jump shot. Does he get position on the two? Goes behind the eight. A little bit unlucky there. It was good executed jump shot.
Okay, trying to hit this ball like half ball or quarter ball to get some separation. The cue ball could track behind the nine ball. Oh, I luckily hit the eight. Not a bad leave. It's a tough shot on this table. Doesn't have to attack here. But with the top players, usually you see them always attacking when they have the chance. Excellent shot. Excellent shot by Busty there. Nice position for a 4 8 combination. In this shot, you don't want to make the four as well. You've got to be careful that the four stays over the pocket because you want position on the five. Nicely done. A little bit straight. Efren has to manufacture an angle here. He can cheat the pocket. By right, he's using. Doesn't want to go behind the six. That was the only danger. Did he get there? Just, yes, good cubo, Efren Reyes. Don't forget all these three players who are playing right now in this match probably learned a lot of their game from Efren over the years. Nevertheless, 29-25 to the Legends. We're in rack 54, boosty to break. Corner ball's flying in now, has made two balls, and nice shot on the one. Filipinos are accustomed to playing rotation, which is 15 balls on the table. So, 9 ball is quite a lot easier for them. Didn't want to hit the 6 there, was playing the 2 ball in the side pocket. Now the 2 does go past the 4. Busty just check that. And uh, has to draw into the long rail and come back over for the three. Bottom left on the cue ball. Nicely done. Busty looks like he's in good stroke now. Straight draw. It's got a little bit of an angle. Shouldn't be a problem with the magician. Nice stroke on that shot. We'll see probably jack up a little bit here. Fire this in. Play the nine in the opposite pocket. It's 30 racks to 25. Rack number 55, Raga to break. Looks like a dry break. Boosty jumps out of his chair 
and has got a shot on the one ball. It does sneak past the two and it will have the natural position of the two afterwards. Where's the three ball? Okay. My friend just working out. How can I leave the easiest position for my partner to get on the four ball? Right hand spin taking effect there. It needs to stun round the nine here. Actually, he played to go through the, the gap of the six nine, which is the prudent play, but unfortunately caught the nine ball and, uh, Let's put them in a big trouble here. You fully expect Efren to hit the four ball, but uh, what happens after is uh, the big thing. Does he leave a shot or not? We are watching Efren Reyes, so uh, we can expect some magic at any time. And he made the seven ball. Wow. I'm pretty sure he got the four ball first there. I don't think it was a foul. Unlucky leave, though. Snookered behind the five. But maybe he played to make the seven as well. Who knows? He's such a, a master at the kicking game that uh, we, not, we cannot be totally sure because he did uh, point at the seven towards that pocket. This is unlucky. He hit that pretty good and got some distance, but scratched in the corner. So, two strokes of bad luck for the legends here. Gives uh, the young guns a glorious chance to reduce the deficit once again. They are trailing by five racks. Pretty easy table here. You fully expect them to go ahead and win this rack. Slightly overrun that. There was no uh, reason to hit it that, that hard. Short, short side position was good there enough. Okay, he's going around the table, leaving a, a cut on the eight ball. May elect to go up and down here, use both uh, short rails. There's the sh second short rail. Decent position on the nine. Thirty racks to twenty six. Efren to break. Rack fifty six. Has made a ball and boosty has got a long shot on the one. If he makes it, he'll have natural position on the two, which leads to the three and four. So this is probably the key shot of the rack. Touch a left hand spin. High left, missing the five ball. Want it to be straighter than that on the two ball. He wanted to be straighter so he could just roll forward for the three in the opposite pocket. I'm uh, a little bit surprised he didn't identify that. Or maybe he did and just overhit the shot. Efren disgusted with his partner. Get out of my way, he said.
playing for a 3-4 combination. <laughs> Did he get there? I'm pretty sure you can see the right hand part of the three ball to make the combination. It's all about where the, the three ball goes here. Looks like it's going to stay within that vicinity. And uh, nicely done. Not sure if he planned for the three to hit the six there to retain position, but uh, they'll take it nevertheless. Efren's just got to negotiate the six ball and miss it somehow. Maybe go around the back of it with some left hand spin. Nicely done. And he uses two rail position there. One, two, three actually. A nice position for Bustamante. See a lot of players might have played two rail position there, landed short or too long. Efren very intelligently opted for three rail position. I don't think anyone on the planet can outthink Efren. A very good chess player as well. So, um, always thinks shots ahead like in a chess game. And this should be 31 26 to the legends. Rack number 57, Johan Chua to break. Time. It's the one in the side. Another ball as well. Got a thin snick on this two ball, but it is makeable. It's just a little bit tricky getting position on the three, so that's what he's worried about. Not easy to get position on the three because the cube will be flying across the table. Maybe a safety is the order of the day. Or even a bank shot. These players like to go for it when they have a shot. We've all heard of the saying, "Who he who dares wins. And uh, we should sometimes take the bull by the horns. That's another one. A pretty good leave. Missed the bank and uh, has snookered the legends. Interesting to watch how Busty attacks this kick shot. Gonna hit it two rails, I would have thought, to try and make it. Yes, he did. Hit it two rails to try and get separation. Unfortunately, he has left a shot. So just needs to float this in with some uh, high left. And we'll have natural position for the three. Don't want to overhit it here. Just enough for the two to reach the pocket. Oh, he nearly scratched and he nearly missed the two. That's a good shot on the three. Left hand spin here, probably 10 o'clock on the cue ball. 
a lovely position on the four. Three o'clock on the cue ball here, stun into the long rail. Play the five in the opposite pocket. One rail position here, high left on the cue ball. Okay, two rail. Two rail was probably better actually. Can let your stroke go a little bit more. And the young guns look like they're playing with a bit, uh, a bit more confidence now. Touch a left, two rail position for the nine. And that should make it 31-27 to the legends. Still in front by four racks. Rack number 58, Bustamante to break. He's made a couple of balls. Or he's made a ball in the side, the one ball it was. What kind of shot does Efren have? A thin snick on the two into the side. Looks pretty doable. Bottom right on the cue ball to avoid the scratch. Doesn't want to scratch. It's heading towards the pocket and in it goes. Yeah. Speed control was a little bit off by Efren and he scratches his head in confusion. It's okay, Efren. We're all human. Can make mistakes. And this will add to the momentum of the young guns. They look like they're getting into a bit more of a flow. Looks a bit funny on this four ball, looks absolutely straight in, so it has to roll forward and play the six in the side. That's what he just looked at. Got to be careful not to get a kick here and land short. <laughs> and he went a little bit further than intended. And now, Johan might be tempted to play this in the top pocket. Yeah, the side pocket would be a blind pocket. At least this way he can see the pocket he's shooting into. Nicely done. Now Raga will probably play this with some high right on the cue ball. Probably one o'clock on the cue ball. In and out, two rails. Nicely done. Float off the, the bottom rail. Nine ball in the same pocket. Two rails actually. On a little bit of a roll, the young guns, Anton Raga and Johan Chua. 31-28. Rack number 59. Raga to break. This looks dry. And it is dry. Bustamante steps to the table with a nice shot on the one ball. Easy position for the two ball. He opted to play two rails there because he could get closer to the two ball that way. And he was always coming into the line of the shot.
Efren has stunned this into the long rail. Quite hard. Okay. Played this uh, slowly. Played for the three into the side pocket. He's got a funny angle where he's going away from the four ball. So we we might be we might be seeing a quite a skillful shot here. Play it with inside spin around the nine ball. He's loading up with some inside spin. Around the nine ball, in and out of this corner, and go towards the four with some inside spin. It's quite a hard shot to execute. You gotta know your shaft and your your tip. Yeah, it wasn't easy at all. Not surprised that Busty missed that. It's a tough shot to execute. Yeah, he aimed the ball a, a little bit too fat there. It caused the miss. Probably play this with some inside spin. Go behind the four. Yeah, his uh, Q-tip placement wasn't very precise there. Didn't get the, the desired reaction of the cue ball. He's left Raga with a tough shot now. He can play this with some inside spin. One, two, three. Nearly four rails for perfect position on the five. Inside spin, two rails, play the six in the same pocket. Now can just draw into the long rail, play the seven in the side. Draw into the long rail, bottom left on the cue ball. And they'll probably play the seven in the side. And the eight in the side. I think he was a little bit cheeky there. Thought he would try and make the nine ball as well. Whilst retaining position on the seven. So it wasn't such a bad shot as it looked. Because he would have had position on the seven anyway. take down this rack getting close 2931 rack 60 Efren to break has made a ball and there's a cluster it looks like a bit of traffic around the nine ball spot The one ball is hugging the rail. Got to play this with a lot of draw and right hand spin to get the cue ball back down table for the two. There you see him applying the bottom right hand English. A good shot of that. Yeah, very well executed. Didn't want to mess with the nine, or he wanted to get behind it. But that nine was a big ball, and uh, has come into play. Efren forced to kick. I don't think he'll go for a jump cue. 
a lot of the modern day players would, without a shadow of a doubt, go straight for their jump cue. One real kick. He'll probably try and make this. Hit it pretty full. Did he get a, a roll? Uh, it doesn't look like they can uh, make the two ball. He may have a, a carom on the eight ball here. It looks pretty doable. Play this with some inside spin. Maybe catch the rail just before. Yeah, like that. Nicely done. Controlling the two ball was key there. Straight top, up and down the table. Good line, needs a bounce off this bottom rail. Perfectly played. Yeah, they're definitely stepping up the pace, gaining some momentum. They look a lot more confident in their demeanor. A little bit of inside spin used there. Two rail position for the nine. Top left on the cue ball. And they're getting closer and closer. 31 to 30. Rack number 61. Bob Witt to break. As he scratched. Yes, he scratched. you got to say that was a bad break. Completely lost the cue ball there. And is uh, disgusted with himself. Just when they were getting things going. Getting a nice little rhythm going. It's nice to see a bit of conferring going on here. Don't know exactly what they're talking about, but they're probably thinking about the eight nine here. I see a shot here. Play, make the two three position on the four, and play position on the five into the same pocket as the four, but play the five off the eight. That's what I see. Obviously, we're talking about Efren and Busti here, so I'm never going to second-guess them. Another option could be when they play the seven in the side to break up Luster. I'm not sure if the eight ball banks either from that view doesn't look like it would bank. Interesting to see how they go about this. Yes, they're probably going to attack the cluster with the seven ball now. And Efren will be playing the shot. Looks a 
little bit short to me. Another few inches towards the left would have been perfect. It looks a little bit thin, not sure if he can get into the cue ball enough to attack that cluster from there. He's got to really get into the cue ball here. But uh, if anyone can, Efren can. He can or he will have a plan. And look at this, look at this, what a great effort. Needs a bit of speed on the cue ball. Wow, what an amazing shot. I, yeah, he can pot that, can he? If he can pot that, that's uh, definitely shot of the match so far. He's so unlucky if he can't pot that. Surely he can pot this somehow. If not, a good safety. Yeah, very well done. But uh, the, the, uh, the, the young guns could get them back here behind the nine. They get the correct contact on the eight. It's quite full. Yeah, see, he could have gone back behind the nine. He got a good object ball as well. He got the eight safe, which is uh, a bonus. Efren was so unlucky attacking that cluster and not having a shot on that eight to pot it was uh, criminal, really. It was a great effort, though. Slightly hampered with the nine ball. What is he going to play? Okay, I think he had attempted to pot the ball there. And uh, he missed it. Didn't execute that as intended. Johan Chua faced with a long eight ball. He's been making quite a few long shots in this match so far. I expect him to get this. Straight shooter. Nicely done, very confidently played. Wins them the rack. 31 each. Can you believe it, guys? Rack number 62. Boosty to break. Boosty makes a ball. A long one ball for Efren. And Efren needs to put a stroke on this and draw the cue ball back. Does he stop it and play for a bank? That might be a sensible option too. Yes. Yes, definitely has a bank. Getting position on the three is what he's worried about. Or is he cutting it in? It looks like he's cutting it in. Has two options here, anyway. Can't even play a safe. Okay, so he's going to go for a bank. Some left-hand spin. And get the cue ball center table for the three. Okay, missed it, but got a good cue ball behind the seven. But um, the two ball, unfortunately, has stayed over the pocket. And uh, it's quite an easy kick shot. I think it's a bit too close to jump. 
and you've got to make them favourite to kick this in. Nicely done. Caught the rail first, which was key to get position on the three. Nice shot. Opens up the rack. Thirty one each. What a match so far. The young guns have definitely got the momentum at the moment. We're trailing by a good four or five racks and they uh, have come back to level it up. Bottom right on the cue ball, play the seven in the side maybe. Looks like he jumped up a little bit there, didn't stay down. Efren deciding whether to attack or defend. Looks like defense is the order of the day here. Hubel behind the nine ball. Didn't quite get there, and he slapped the cue on the table in disgust. I believe he can see a piece of the seven. I'm not quite sure. I have to make do with these angles from the cameraman, so uh, please bear with me. Maybe he's going for a long bank past the eight. No, opted for a safety. This is not a bad choice. Good cue ball, and he got behind the eight. Very well done by Johan Chua there. Good shot, especially at this vital moment in the match. Can Busti see a piece of it? Looks like he can. It's going to come back down behind the eight or nine. Good shot. Nicely executed. Similar position to what Chua had for uh, Raga. Does he play the same shot? Yeah, he played the same shot. And got a pretty similar cue ball as well. Although Efren does have a shot, it's long and uh, not easy to say the least. Efren might be forced into having a go at this. He did. He had a go at it. And has he got lucky? Yes, he's got lucky. Nature of the beast is part of the game. So he's going to kind of Try and kick the one ball to where he pointed the cue on the short rail. And try and get the seven back down table and hide the cue ball behind the eight.
Johan wanted to kick one way, but Raga said, no, I think this way is better. I like that shot, yeah. It was probably easier to control than the other shots. Nearly got the snooker behind the nine. It looks like uh, the veterans can uh, play an easy snooker here. I'm not sure how close the seven is to the eight. Yeah, I'm not sure if the seven can clear the eight ball. Oh, he snookered completely. So these are little intricate shots where we can learn from. I'm not sure exactly what I would do here. We can see a piece of it. See, playing it with a lot of inside, and maybe cue ball down table and snooker behind. Oh, a oh, combination on the eight. Wow, what a great shot. I didn't see that. Obviously, they had a better view. The seven and eight was lined up. It's a little bit unlucky how he's left Efren here. Fa fancy Efren to get this because he's good at these little funny shots when the cue ball's close to the object ball. Yeah, he never misses those. Nicely done. And the veterans take the lead again, 32 to 31. Rack number 63, Raga to break. Raga seems to be coming up dry quite a lot. Maybe he needs to change something on his break. Maybe position of the cue ball or hit higher or lower on the cue ball. If something's not working, you got to change it quick time because you're in a race. Is he okay? Elected to play safe. He didn't go for the shot. He was aiming to get behind the seven. Didn't get there, but good effort. Has left distance. Long one ball needs to stay down. Center ball striking here. Any kind of English can make the pot more difficult. And uh, he nailed that one. Great shot by Chua. He's definitely been the best long potter in this match by a mile. Does he use inside or outside here? Probably outside. Easier to execute. Doesn't want to be straight in on the rail. Okay. He's got a bit of air off the rail. Can Raga follow in and out of the corner with high right English? Okay, he's drawing, so he must be completely straight. There's a bit of spin to come closer. It's probably about the best he could do. See how Chua keeps to his pre-shot routine every shot. 
and that improves his consistency overall. Just checking to see if the eight ball goes inside. So I'll probably play this three rails and uh, bounce the cue ball off the short rail where he's standing for a shot on the eight in the side. One, two, three, bounce. Yeah, and he's got a nice angle going towards the nine. Just roll this in. Chua for the nine ball. And what a match, 32-32. After 64 racks, rack 64, Busty to break, makes a ball as usual. Yep, and he's got a shot for Efren on the one. Bottom left, I would have thought, on the cue ball. Oh, actually, the two doesn't go past the four, does it? So, we'll have to probably play it in the side or the corner pocket where he's standing. Yeah, side pocket. That was the most uh, intelligent play. Pretty open rack now for the veterans. The young guns keep on catching up, but the veterans always pull away again. That seems to be the story in this match so far. But who's going to prevail down the winning stretch? We shall find out in part three, which should be uploaded shortly after part two. Make sure you guys tune in to part three, the finale of this match. Just missed the eight ball. Nicely done. Can you believe it? 32 racks each. Scotch doubles. Didn't want to hit the eight. That was a bit careless from Efren. These two were uh, partners in the World Cup of Pool a few years ago. And uh, they, they won that tournament in uh, the Philippines when it was hosted in their home nation. I was actually in that tournament and I played with Darren Apperton. We played Efren and Busty in the quarterfinals and they they drilled us 9-1 unfortunately. There was like 5,000 people watching in a big shopping mall. I can remember that like it was yesterday. Great experience though to play in that tournament in the Philippines. Go ahead once again, 33 to 32. They just refuse to lie down. They're not going to let the young guns prevail. Or are they? You'll have to find out in part three, guys. 
where they will finish off the match to 50. Rack 65. Chua to break. Has made a ball. One in the side. No. One's quite close to the cue ball. Does have a 1 6 combination. Refused the combination and uh, elected to play safe, but it looks like he's uh, left this ball up into the side pocket. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Busty can slot this in the side. A little bit of outside spin to throw it in. A little bit, not much. Yeah, nice pace. Okay. Looks like the three may go from where the cue ball is now. So if Efren draws this back like a foot and a half or so, should leave Busty pretty, pretty makeable shot on the three. Okay, he didn't want a chance getting closer, which is sensible. I left two rounds position on the four in the same pocket. They just refuse to lie down. They keep on going ahead. Straight in on the seven. That's not what he wanted to be. Efren's got to draw this straight back now. Just straight draw. A little bit short. Bottom right. Three rows. Let your stroke go. One, two. Ooh. Three and he missed it. Oh, I didn't expect that. That was painful because it was so close, it just hung up. And uh, another absolute gift for the veteran rack number 66, Efren to break, and it's 33 all. We are going to 35 in part two, so uh, a couple of more racks would decide the winner of part two, and then in part three we'll finish off the race to 50. Top right on the cue ball, middle table position. Bottom left on the cue ball, play the seven in the opposite pocket, center table ish. Overrun that a touch. Uh, Efren just needs to draw back slightly. Didn't want to leave a straight in shot on the eight. That's why he he drew back. Two rail position. Bottom right on the cue ball. Smoothly executed. Leaves a nice easy nine for the goat. 34 33. 
to the legends again, refusing to go down. Rack number 67, and it's Raga to break. He's made it ball this time. Good break. He's got a shot on the one. He rolls forward. Looks like pretty natural position for the three. They're going to 35, so uh, Efren and Busti need one more rack. Looks good. Yeah, nice position on the three. This could go hill hill for this section, second uh, part of the match. It wouldn't be hill hill for the total match. And pretty doable run out. Top left on the cue ball. Nice position for the five. No problems in this rack. If I had to bet, I wouldn't bet against them. I bet it goes 34-34 to tie up the match again. The match has been tied like four times in this match. Yeah, it looks like he wants to let his stroke go a little bit and play the eight in the same pocket. Needs a bounce, a little bit short. It's uh, better to be longer than shorter. Doesn't need a skid. <laughs> mm. uh, not sure why he missed that. Could it be pressure? Maybe it is. Yeah, and he's very upset with himself. And uh, don't blame him. He should have made that ball. A little cut on the nine for Busti to end part two. Nicely done. Good shot. And what a part two. Ends up 35-34. To the veterans, you're watching the Billiard Network. My name's Imran Majid, and we are currently showing the Battle of the Generations. That was part two, done and dusted. Be sure to tune in to part three, being uploaded on our YouTube channel shortly. Ciao for now, and talk to you soon.